Hey everybody, my name is uh, Eric Clark. I'm in uh, Prague right now. And so I'm gonna run around and see um, probably six or seven of the strangest, unique things to see in Prague. I'm gonna videotape it and then I'll upload it and then you can see where it's at. I'll see if I can do a map for you too so that you can see where these items are located and how to get to there. Um, and that way you can experience for yourself when you get here. Um, that's it. Uh, I'll see you in a minute when I get to or get close to my next site. Bye bye. Hey everybody, it's uh, Eric. I'm out uh, running the streets right now and trying to go to some unique sites. And uh, so I'm going to head to the main square and then I'll go from there. I think the first place I'm going to go is to show you the hanging arm. So Mother Mary. Um, was in a church back in like the 13 or 1400s or something like this. And uh, a thief came in to steal and uh, but the statue reached out and grabbed him. The statue wouldn't let go of his arm, so they had to amputate his arm. So to deter thieves, what they did is they took the decapitated arm and hung it from the ceiling. And it's been there for hundreds of years. And it's this shriveled up nasty uh, arm hanging from the ceiling. So I'll go there and you can see that. I don't know if it's open. I went there a little earlier and it wasn't, but, uh, but I can show you at least where it's at. So this is the main square. And, uh, and this is a good reference point for seeing the sights. And you can see the big clock tower and the statues. And all these amazing places. And all the colored buildings, incredible, absolutely incredible. Okay, when you're at the main square, the clock tower is on the right side, and then you can see the big cathedral on the left side, and then there's a little tiny hallway, or a little street, I guess, right through there, and that's where we're gonna go. So this will get you to the to the church. All right, I'll be back in a little bit, everybody. This is the little walkway street in between the two buildings and the big church right there, and the archway. And everybody's bundled up and warm. It's reaching a high of 29 degrees today. Prague really is amazing. The little side streets, the little buildings, the little businesses, the, you know, it's very quaint and very cute and amazing. So you can see that archway up there. So we go through what, two archways? And then we get to the street and we'll take a left. So when you see Restaurante Pizzeria Vapini, <laughs> if I'm saying that right, to the right of it's another arch, the yellow arch, I guess we'll call it. Um, and then we'll take a left. Amazing. All right, and here's that street I was telling you about. And this is the church. And it's famous for that arm that's hanging from the ceiling. And I don't know if it's open or not, but we'll see. And this is the church. Well, I guess it's closed. So I guess I have to come back. Well, this is the church you need to come to, and the arm is in here. So all the guys with the gold staffs, that's the place to come to. And this church is called, or at least there's a plaque of it, 
Okay. Well, I guess I'll have to come back to this one tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna walk on and we'll go to the next place. Bye-bye. So I went down that street over there. And now I'm just on the other side of the church, just so you can see this church. And it's amazing. It's one of the major eye sites for, uh, for Prague. Incredible. Okay, now we're back into the main square. And you can see the clock tower. And the busy streets. Okay. Neat place. And the funnel cakes. <laughs> right. Just so you know, these stop traffic. If they have a remote control, they can lower it and raise it so it stops people from coming through. So, just so you know what those are. And again, we're back in the square. It's a good reference point. Good place to get your bearings and know where you're at. When you go down this street here, if you wind down that way, you'll get all the way to the Powder Tower and St. Charles Bridge. Um, and it's a wonderful little walk too. But we're not going to go that far. We're going to take a left and we're going to go see if we can find the upside down horse and the spinning head and then we'll go from there. Okay, I'll be back everybody. Bye bye. This is another one of those little great walking streets in Prague. Crepery and those funnel cakes, you can see them right there. And you can get a price right there too. tourist shops close by so you can always find what you're looking for. Incredible doors. Amazing. Down this way because I think this puts us in front of that other church. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye. And we're coming up on more streets, but this one's neat too because it has the market down the middle of the street. So you can see it coming up. Ice cream shops. Try to link of those little funnel cakes T R D E L I L N I K. But this is the market area. But it's amazing. And it's got fruits and vegetables and all sorts of shopping crap and it's pretty busy. You know, another nice thing is that's amazing is that all the little streets are really quaint and cute and colorful and full of tourists. <laughs> Getting around the tourists is a little tough sometimes. But imagine in the summer, I bet it'd be a hundred times worse. So, anyway, we're coming up on the another big walkway here. And you can see the bear's head sticking up right up there. <laughs> you need to get a dollar from a tourist. Take a picture with a polar bear.
<laughs> Cute. Okay. And this is the. That's a museum at the end of the street. So that's pretty cool too. Okay. We're getting close. So you see this thing says Lucerna? That's where we're going. And it's just a little, uh, a mall almost, but Lucerna. So do a search on Lucerna and you'll see it from there. But then you have to go inside the building. Lucerna, and he's right in here. Kino Lucerna. And that's King Winslas riding a dead horse. Kind of interesting, and the horse's tongue is hanging out. <laughs> get it from the front here. That's it. Pretty strange to ride a dead horse upside down, but it's all good. Okay, everybody, I'll go on to the next place, which is the spinning head. Bye bye. All right, now we're getting close to the rotating head. And it's kind of in a newer part of town, in the middle of the old town, but uh, it's still pretty neat. It doesn't look like it's spinning right now, but uh, at least you'll see it. There's a McDonald's close. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Politeness is on top of things, but okay. So this is the spinning head. It rotates usually. But uh, this time it's not. So it just rotates, but you can see that it's a man's head. And it's got face and eyes and nose and all that kind of stuff. But uh, it's pretty neat here in town too. And it rotates and all that kind of stuff. It's out here in front of Polpo or Quadrio. Anyway, you can find it. I'll put it on a map. It's over. Here's a neat little church that uh, is kind of interesting. It's kind of off by itself. And it's not that all exciting. Um, but it has a door that opens to, uh, I guess, air. Um, you ever go to Winchester Mansion and they have the stairs that go up to a door and the door opens and it's outside to nothing? It's kind of like that, but not as bad. So there's the door and it just opens to Nothing. And when you go in the door, you can see it up there. It's just kind of interesting, but uh, what's the name of this church? So if you want to come by and see it, you can. Yeah. Nice. Cute little door. We might as well go in. doors <laughs> over there and stuff. Anyway. Can't have to get ready for a concert. Okay. Bye everybody. So the next one is the hanging man. And uh I guess they say something like two million people walk by it every year and don't even see it or don't even know it's there. So it's in your view right now. Can you even see it? But uh, somebody told me it was Einstein. Somebody told me it was just a normal man. I, you know, I don't know. But it's just a guy hanging there. You see him up there? Sticking off the edge of the building. I guess he's been there for a long time, but he's just a, a hanging man. Just sitting up there. So 
we could probably tell the tourists and see if they see it. Watch out to this family. You see the hanging man? See him hanging? <laughs> He's just hanging there. Anyway, all right, let's go on to the next one. I think I'm gonna go see if the library is open and we can go find you the endless tunnel of books. And then I'll see if I can get over to the lava wall thing. Okay, that's it. Bye everybody. And again, more little cute quaint streets that are amazing and traffic and I love these statues up here another tourist Everybody's looking for food. Oh. I like these two statues in front of this door. Pretty neat. Amazing. All right. So how do you like Prague so far? Pretty neat, huh? There's so many things to see, and these are just the things that are off the beaten path that most tourists don't get to see. Um, everybody knows about the castle, everybody knows about the churches, everybody knows about all that kind of stuff, but uh, unique stuff's kind of fun. Okay, let me go find this tunnel of book. Bye-bye. Okay, so this is the one of the main libraries. You can see the six figures up on top. And we're going to go see if it's open and see if there's a line to view the endless tunnel of books. Oh, look at the full moon. How perfect is that? All right, I'm going to come back out and take a picture. There we go. Well, there's certainly some people here. This is the books. It goes all the way through the ceiling, all the way through the floor, and it's endless. It goes on forever. I guess I have to wait in line. So I'll wait in line. Certainly a lot of books. <laughs> Next is my turn, and we'll be, I'll show you the books. <laughs> it's pretty neat. Okay, so look. It goes all the way down. You can go on forever. It goes all the way down. Jeez. All the way up. To the roof. <laughs> it really doesn't. It's really just mirrors and stuff, but it's really still amazing. Hi. It's a beautiful day. It's a little cold, but the moon's full, and it's amazing. A gimbal. <laughs> They're so hard to carry, but it's still amazing.
pretty neat stuff. Thanks everybody, I'll send more later. And I'm back in the main square again. Big church. Thanks for coming along, everybody. In the main square, they have a lot of things to eat and stuff. And those little funnel cakes I told you about, the tread, Treadle Link. See it up there, Treadle Link? But they have pig knuckles <laughs> that you can buy. And big chunks of meat roasting on spits. And hamburgers and hot dogs. And uh, and crepes. Everybody comes for the, the clock to do its thing. And it's almost time. So we got about four minutes, but you can see the crowd. I guess I better show you the clock too, just so you can see it. It's pretty amazing. When it starts, the little uh, skeleton will start ringing the bell and then it starts. But I'm kind of in the middle of the way, so I'm going to get out of here. Hi, hey, everybody. And this looks like it's going to be the last one on our list tonight. It's a statue out in the middle of by this church. But it's certainly an interesting statue. And everybody comes and rubs its feet. And so you can see his feet are both polished. And this is... Frankazka. Well, we might as well give him a rub, huh? I can use all the luck I can get. <laughs> Bye from Prague for tonight. Bye-bye.